Hey guys, how's it going? Octopus here. Welcome back to Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross. We're talking about Red Demon Meliodas and if you should pull for him or not. Uh, he's really good in PvP and PvE content, aka the Crimson Demon that will be coming out that allows you to level up your units past level 70. This is going to be really important to go for fast kills, but Demon Meliodas compared to the other units coming out, especially when you compare him to the other Demon Meliodas, this is currently the red one, there is a blue one, and there's more later on. Uh, this is the one that if you only care about the Crimson Demon and killing him fast, you go for this unit. If you want to use him in PvP, it works really well, but your front line also has to be pretty good as well too. He's more of a backline unit for PvP than a forward unit. You can use him in the front, but when a unit dies, he becomes more powerful. I'm going to explain his kit right now. So if that sounds interesting to you, then yeah, go for him. Me personally, I'm skipping. One, I bought a lot of costumes and weapons and cosmetics uh, for the previous ban, uh, not banners, pre previous cosmetics that came out. So a lot of my gems went there and the rest of the gems I'm saving for Escanor. So that's my plan and I'm giving you guys a heads up what I'm personally doing, but I'm going to show you what he's all about, give you guys a head up, heads up, and talk about the rest of the update. Alright, so let's start off with Demon Meliodas. This is him. If you guys think he looks awesome, he does. His actual, like, attacks, his ultimate gauge here, with the combined with Merlin, looks fantastic. Uh, personally, I, I won't be I won't be going for him. I'll be waiting maybe later on to see what happens. For now, let's talk about his kit and what does he do. He is a red unit. He does count as a demon race. He's an SSR, so SSR pennants are needed. He's got really good attack. 3001 defense is mediocre and HP is above everybody else pretty much right now. He's on par with Galland, so his HP and attack are great. His defenses needs to be worked on. I would go with like attack defense uh, build on him to really help out on that defense and of course give you that attack that you need. Now, his rank 1 skill is Hellfire. At rank 1, this is a debuff card all around, so cards that lock out your attack skills will not work, aka Red Gother trying to do his old AoE is not going to affect this, these skills at all. So, at rank 1, he has 108% of attack on one enemy and ignites him for 3 turns. Why is this so important? Ignite gives you 10% more damage per stack of ignite on the enemy. So, if you look at it, it goes from 1 ignite to 2 ignites to 3 ignites, depending if it's 1 star, 2 star, or 3 star. And the attack goes from 180, 270 to 450, and also it lasts longer. So, the first ignite is for 3 turns, second ignite is for 4 turns, and 5th ignite, or sorry, 3rd ignite is for 5 turns. So, ignite really, really strong, but king blue king can cleanse that and that's why he's not really that strong in pvp because a lot of people run blue king even till this J day in jp there is different team comps but you will see blue king every other match probably if you're unlucky so that's his first skill really important because you can get those three stack at ignite that's 30 percent on top of damage you can do and his second skill really does complement this as well too so his second skill has an attack of 220% at rank 1 and 2, so it doesn't make a difference which one you use, especially when you're going against the Raid Demon. You just want to use rank or 1, 2. If you have rank 3, then you get a difference of 360% attack. But it's also a debuff card at rank 2, but at rank 1, it's just an attack card. So again, if Red Gothi goes brrr, all over all your team, then he will be locked out unless you make it a 2-star or higher. So, 2-star is a debuff. It inflicts damage, of course, and it infects infects for one turn and then you got infects for two turns what infect does is pretty much locks out healing abilities so not just like healing from a card but also lifesteal and anything to do with healing altogether but this can be cleansed again from king so if you just go cleanse boom done you got everything in one bag and that's why he is not the greatest for pvp because blue king cuz kind of shuts that down but again if you don't face a blue king you probably have a better chance of winning that's pretty much what he does is straightforward tons of damage especially against a red demon you do want to get that ignite on there as soon as possible on an enemy if you're going pvp especially the raid demon and you just tear him apart very very fast now his ultimate is hellbuster there's a non-combined form which inflicts weak point damage equal to 385 percent attack on one enemy and if you max that out it goes to 578 so it's really good as a max out alt but the true power comes on the combined attack where it starts at 440 percent up to 660 percent so really really good damage off his alt it is single target so you're only gonna be hitting that one enemy but that one enemy if it has ignite especially is going to be wiped out in just one shot 
And why does this whole kit work? Why does this one shot an enemy? There's two things. Weak point does three times damage against an enemy that's debuffed. What's his entire kit? A debuff kit. He's got he's got ignite and he's got infect. So there will be debuffs on there, especially if you use him a team with like green bond. This is going to be debuffs. And on top of that, he's got a unique passive called rage, which increases crit chance by 50%. Per dead ally. So again, in PvP, this is why he's a backline unit. Because when one of your frontline units die, he comes in, boom, 50% increase. And this is really good on him because he already has 50% increase. Uh, sorry, crit chance. So he has 100% as soon as he comes on the field. 100% crit chance. It just blows up the entire field. He can solo depending on what team you're facing and how weak or strong the enemy is. So really strong unit when it comes to PvP, especially if someone doesn't know what's going on. Uh, they can really get just one shot by this entire thing if they're not prepared and not ready. But if you look at it too, he's not the greatest when it comes to PvP because he can be locked out if not used properly, not used with the right player, but he can be used. So he's not only for Crimson Demon, but he is specifically made to make that team, uh, uh, make a team comp for that to make it really, really fast and really easy. It's kind of like using Green King on Grey Demon. Very fast with Green King. Without Green King, it's still possible, but it takes longer. He's one of those units that just make Crimson Demon look like a joke. And he is one of the harder demons out of the three. Now, he does have a combined uh, combination with all these characters here. You're pretty much going to be looking at Merlin. Again, that combination does a big difference for his ult. But if you're going to use someone else, go for the red uh, Liz Hawk. Oh, not Liz Hawk here. Just the red Liz. She gives you resistance uh, plus 24.6. Everyone else is just way too expensive. Uh, to use you're not really gonna you're not gonna really level up these two SSR units uh, This bond down here has regeneration rate you rather just do the resistance over the regeneration rate So that's why it's either gonna be your Merlins or it's gonna be uh, The Elizabeth here as for the weapon the weapon is pretty straightforward for his kit crit damage plus 6% really really good Later on the other demon in Meliodas wants more of like a pierce rate build But this demon Meliodas is gonna go attack 120 and crit damage plus 6% which works for him beautifully And it's a free weapon you don't have to go into the PvP you don't have to go into the coin shop or not coin shop into your gems to go buy one out of the sacred shop it's just a free one off affinity and that's with food so you level up his uh, affinity which is hearts give him yell give him food whatever food he likes hit it up all the way to the max and you get a, yourself a free weapon so pretty straightforward kit uh would you again would you really really want to go for this compared to other units in pvp no does he work in pvp yes does he kill the crimson demon like no 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 other team yes he's very very powerful crimson demon so if those things sound good to you and then go for him if you're low on gems and you're free to play i would personally say skip and just wait it out all right, so moving on from Demon Meliodas, there's a couple things in the actual update happening too. Limit Break Bundle. This gives you everything you need to level up a character. Uh, you get 30 of the Crimson Demon's piece, which lets you get to level 75. Honestly, 30 gems and those three pieces, not really worth it. Uh, it's better to buy the gem packs versus this with those because you can farm those over time. Never really rush the game because then you don't really have anything to do. So that's the first little bundle. Second, we're getting this little new event, which you guys should be doing. It's just free chalices. It's definitely worth it. You get yourself Water of Life and Demon Blood. You can see three of the three stars, two of the four stars, and one of the five stars. If you're still trying to awaken a lot of characters, and you will be for a long time, because you need your main team and then sub teams for those teams, the ones you attach together to make them stronger. And whenever you pull for a new character, you now got to make that character fully awakened and their subunit fully awakened or their associate. So definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Go for it. Second up, we got another event. If you guys haven't done this one before, if you're new to the game, uh, there is an event. If you have the villagers maxed out to five hearts, you can go to that village and give them one million gold, which is the max, to get yourself an SSR pendant, SR and R. If you only want the SR pendants, you only have to donate 300,000 gold. Uh, personally, I would just do all of it. It's highly worth it. If you guys got have six million gold, which you should, there was a lot of half energy for the books. Uh, there's a lot of farming. Make sure you're selling to Veronica. I have a whole gold guide on my channel if you guys want to farm gold. But this is highly recommended. Very good. Easy six pendants of each, and you're out the door. So six million gold. Good luck, guys. Hopefully you have it. So next up, we do have new costumes, and honestly. Um, I'm not a fan of costume bundles. I am a fan of them when they come out afterwards So they are available for purchase until the 27th after the 27th. They are available to anybody until March not March May 11th May 11th They'll be available to everyone for 30 gems a piece. So what does that mean? Uh, you've got your headpiece You've got your armor piece and you got the weapon so 30 60 90 gems if you want to buy the whole thing or you're gonna spend like for me it's 52 something Canadian I think it's like 40 American honestly it's not really worth it you can spend that American uh, price or Canadian price on just gem bundles like the rank up bundle the weekly bundle the monthly 
get more gems out of that and just buy the three pieces for 90 or only the important piece which is usually the weapon and the headpiece. The armor is just for cosmetics and making your waifu and husband look amazing. So personally I wouldn't really go for <laughs> I wouldn't go for Elizabeth here and I wouldn't go for Fighter Deanne. I would probably do Bond because Bond is one of my favorites and I do use them and I plan to use them for a long time in PvP as much as I can depending on the current meta. So I will probably go for Bonds uh, 100% as for... Demon Meliodas, I'm not really pulling from right now, but I kind of want to see what that weapon has for the future Demon Meliodas because their stuff will combine. So that is good for future sight. So if you do have the gems, think about it because the next Demon Meliodas is very strong. As for the rest, you guys can skip, skip, and I'm looking at Bon. I'm probably going to get the Bon. <laughs> Alright, next up we got uh, new rewards. So, uh, do you know that event where if you click on the two swords on the side where you can choose boss, PvP, SP dungeon, and at the top there's an event tab or whatever it's called? I believe it has a real name. Uh, it's just one of the, it's in that event tab. So if you do that, you get to get SSR pendants and SR pendants plus books of leveling up and the experience pots which are really, really good. Complete this entire event. It is worth it. Do it. Spend the energy or the whatever energy cost. It's worth it. Get it completed before it's gone. It's only here for two weeks, which is a long time. But when you're trying to do half stamina farming and farming demons and doing PvP, you tend to forget that because it's out of the way. You can only go into it by clicking on that little cross sword thing down there on the bottom right of your screen. So, really good event, a lot of good stuff, and I'm looking forward to those SR pendants, because SSR pendants I don't need anymore. I do, obviously, for the future characters, but all of my SR characters are level 60, because I don't have enough SR pendants. So, all these SR pendants that I'm seeing, I'm like, yes! <laughs> Next, we have the Diamond Bogo, which is like, if you do buy gems, you, whatever you purchase, you'll get double. So, if you buy 50 gems, you'll get 100 gems. Only one-time purchase for each one. So, if you buy this pack for 10 gems, you can't do it again. You'll only get 5 gems out of it. And same thing for the next packs, all the way to the biggest one. If you buy the 102 gems, you get 204 for the first purchase. After that, it's only 102. But, not really worth it. Get the weekly, get the monthly, or get... Um, the rank up bundle. Those are really, really worth it. These are just if you really want more gems, if you are putting lots of money in the game and you don't care, that's perfectly fine. If you're uh, capable of doing that, then yeah, it's a little bit extra. But honestly, I would skip out on that. And the last thing is the new, new schedule. Now, the new schedule for the first couple of uh, days or weeks, you're not going to have any half stamina farming until the 20th, it looks like. So everything here until the 19th. Uh, you're not going to be doing anything except for just getting a couple rewards. When it hits the 20th, we are doing boss battle, half energy reward, and then it's going to go into the Ville Donation. Item shop, stamina, BOGO event. That is like you buy one stamina, you get double it. So it's really good for buying stamina if you guys want to, or just use friendship coins and the energy pots. The guild has energy pots. Every time you pull silver coins, those are energy pots. So you don't really have to go for this if you don't... Um, you don't have or you already have a lot of pots so you can kind of skip on that save the gems because it does cost one gem to get two energy so not that bad of an event kind of straightforward schedule you know kind of what we always look forward to if you guys are still ranking up once you're at a comfortable position you don't really have to worry about this too much it's just freebies do what you want uh when you're just farming on the off time you're doing demon farming pvp you're just doing whatever you can that's currently and not going overboard you use your energy pots when you see half energy on the thing you need the most pvp gear food um, your chalices, if you need more chalices, whenever those energies are up, you go for it. So, that is basically everything that's of most importance. Hopefully, I didn't forget anything. Uh, that is the entire thing. Maintenance is going to be up in an hour and 17 minutes. By the time I load this video up, it should be like 45 minutes away. So, hopefully, something here helps you out. If you're going for that Demon Meliodas, I wish you the best of luck. You guys can take mine. Since I'm not going for him, my hands are clean, and I'm waiting for my Escanor. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll smell you later.